up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out. Before we get going, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, and don't forget that we live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Hit the super chat button, super thanks button, all that good stuff, man, so we can, uh, you know, talk this boxing, man, and continue to do so, but we need your support, so please do that when you can. And um, TKO World Series debates turning. We got one week left. We got today, tomorrow, Monday and Wednesday and next week and the tournament done, bro. We finish up round two tonight. We got the quarterfinals tomorrow, semifinals on Monday and the third place and grand prize match on next Wednesday. So it's getting down to the nitty gritty. I can't wait to see who coming, who going home with the money. But let's get to it, bro. Fight prediction time. We got a fight card going down tomorrow. ESPN Plus, the card is taking place in Canada and we doing the main event match, man. So we got Eric Bazinian versus Jose De Jesus Macias, 10 round, 168 pound fight. Uh, 28 uh, Bazinian is 28 years old out of Armenia, six foot one, orthodox fighter. But I seen the switch stances in some of the videos I watch of him. 29 wins, no losses, 21 wins by way of knockout. Then you got Macias, 31 years old out of Mexico, orthodox fighter, five foot ten. 72 injuries, 28 wins, 11 losses, 4 draws, 14 wins by way of knockout. He's been knocked out one time. A um, couple of things, man, about Macias. He's tough as nails, bro. He got 15 fights that he didn't get the W in. So 11 fights that he lost, 4 fights that he dropped, that he got a draw in. And he only been stopped one time. That means that, bro, you getting outboxed, outpointing, dudes is landing on you, outworking you, doing shit to make sure that you 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 lose. And you still staying up there and you only been knocked out one time. So that's a, you know, that's a high-level journeyman that's going to give you some rounds. Thank Juan Carlos Burgos type of dude that just know how to survive, know how to fight, will throw back at you, can catch you slipping. If you in there thinking shit sweet, he throwing back at you. He ain't one of them dudes just going to go in a high guard and give up on your ass. He, he going he gonna to fight back, swing back. You know what I mean? He's just his, his tools. He ain't going to have the hand speed, the foot speed and shit. He ain't got he ain't got real popping power like that, but he rugged, he rough, he love to fight, and uh, you know he coming, he coming for the for the A side fighter in Brazilian, and you know it's gonna be on Brazilian to discourage him and, and see if he can do something only one person's done. Let's get him out of there, bro. Dudes outbox him, they outpoint him, you know what I mean? They beat him, but do they beat him up and stop him? Hell no, nah, you want to get that feather in your cut if you Brazilian. A uh, Brazilian power puncher, limited defense. Um, behind his high guard, head on the line, feet got to be planted to throw, but he a power puncher in both hands specifically. I love the way them uppercuts look, both of them. Both of them. He orthodox that right uppercut look nasty when he punching that bitch through your high guard. He, he southpaw, that left uppercut look nasty when he punching that shit through your high guard. He know how to peel and, and, and throw his hooks and shit. He got a lot of good offensive tools. He just ain't got no defense. He ain't got no feet. He ain't got no reflexes. But he know how to sit down on this shit and he can crack. That's why he 21 knockouts and 29 fights. And he almost stopped Atlantis Fox when they fought last year. And uh, a lot of people felt like Atlantis Fox, the fight should have been a lot closer. Uh, he won a majority decision against Atlantis Fox, 95-95 on one card, 98-92 on two others. So he showed that he's kind of that fringe I ain't going to say Bazinion is about to run through 168. I think his record is padded. Don't get it twisted. 29-0 with 21 knockouts. I think I, don't, I ain't saying he at the top of super middleweight at the top of 168 at all. But he is one of them fringe world guys that can beat some, 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 some top 15-ish dudes at, at, at super middleweight. You know, you start getting to the to the Morels and, and the fucking... Uh, Caleb Plants and the, and the Benavidez and shit. Even um, even somebody like um Ronald Ellis or somebody like um, shit Darrell. If Darrell is on, like he gonna eat, eat those are the types of like Darrell. There you go. He he like a he on a Ronald Ellis Darrell level in my opinion. You know he has an opportunity to prove me wrong and do do some things because he's still undefeated. You know they 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 repping him out of Armenia and shit out, out there in Canada. He, he doing shows, headlining shows out there. So we'll see. ESPN Plus picking up this card. So we'll see what he what what he do. He only twenty eight, but I don't really see. It's just too many gaps defensively, too many gaps athletically. It's just not that eye catching talent that you would think of when you think of the super middleweight division like a David Benavidez or a David Morrell, like I was saying. But in this fight, man, I think 
He's the younger, fresher fighter. I think he's he he has a better arsenal offensively. Um, he has better power. Um, both of them kind of got gaps in their defense. So I expect this to be a highly entertaining fight. Um, but I think a lot of the cleaner, harder, eye-catching shots going to be landed by Eric Bazinia. And I think he's going to win. Now, will he get the stoppage is the, is the key. Um, it's hard because... If he get them, that you always like when you are a side like that, and they want you to put on a show for the crown and shit. I think all he might gotta do is just get Macias to a point where Macias ain't throwing back, and he got him a little hurt. Maybe Macias, you know, one of those things where they'll stop the fight early. We all like, damn, bro, that, that that stoppage was was questionable. You know, I, I think if that's in the cards, he could possibly get a stoppage like that. But stopping Macias where he can't continue, he knocked out, he. he he don't beat the count. You know what I'm saying? The ref stopping the fight because he's just all the way out of there. I don't know if I see that happening, bro. I don't know if I see that happening. I think Bazinian is clearly going to win this fight. Um, but I'm going to go for it by, by decision. If, if you're going to bet the stoppage, I say bet it late, man. I don't think you're just going to crack Macias with one shot and just get him up out of there if you if you Bazinian. You ain't got that type of power, bro. And you ain't got the the the, the eye-catching talent and, and the one-punch power like David Morrell or, or, or even David ben I think David Benavidez would probably stop him in the middle of the rounds. I think David Morrell would stop him in the middle of the rounds. And I think Bazinian is going to start pouring it on a little late. And if he do get the stoppage, it'll be about round eight, round nine. But if you let Macias get to like round nine, he going to make sure he survives. He that type of fighter like where his victory is, I went the distance with your ass. I get another paycheck. So he gonna, if he get to a point where he feel like he can't win, he going to go in survival mode, hot guard, make sure he see your shots coming, make sure he throw back just enough to let the ref know he ain't hurt and shit, and just try to go ahead and get and, and go the distance with you so he can give you some rounds and so the promoters will call him back. And I'm anticipating that that's what happens, man. I got Eric Bazinian in this fight. I think he's just too young, too strong. Um, hands are a little bit faster. Power is there. Um, and I think he's, he's going to be the one that's um, pressing the action and landing the cleaner shots. Although I think Messi is going to have some moments in the fight because uh, what's the dude's name? Bazinian, I don't see him with a whole lot of defense, but I see him with a whole lot of versatility offensively. That's going to carry the day for him, and I got him winning the fight by decision. Y'all let me know who y'all picking. Comment below, smash the like, sub to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.